I just kind of want to talk for a minute, if that's all right. Yeah, if you're tuning in, uh, thank you for clicking on the video. To all of my subscribers, first of all, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for checking out the content, all that great stuff. I just wanted to... Um, the plan for this video was to talk about the Super Bowl trailers that dropped last night. I was going to just talk about the Deadpool trailer, the Planet of the Apes trailer, the Wicked trailer. And then something happened that happens a lot that um, I just wanted to talk about it, I guess, because maybe that'll help me deal with it. I guess. I'm sure any content creators or any other YouTubers that are watching this, I'm sure you can relate to an extent. Uh, my anxiety ruins my videos. What I mean by that is that I have a very difficult time recording these videos sometimes. And what tends to happen is that I'll like, I'll take notes. Like I have, I have notes right here. I'll, I'll take notes for whatever I want to talk about in a video. And sometimes it'll go well, you know, I'll take the notes, I'll talk about what I want to talk about, everything will flow well, I'll feel good, I'll be making jokes, and everything will be cool, I'll edit the video, I'll get it out, and you guys will, you know, like it, and, you know, everything will run smoothly. But what happens a lot, and this is the reason why it feels like there are long breaks in between videos a lot of the time. What tends to happen is that a lot of times I'll turn on the camera, I'll get set up, I'll drink water, I'll read over my notes and everything, and I'll think I'm prepared, and I'll start the video, and as soon as I get into the knit and grit of what I'm there to talk about, my brain will just completely either go blank or just get flooded with so much that I want to say that I'll end up not saying much at all and I'll just get really flustered and I'll get really frustrated and sometimes I'm able to just you know realize that I'm getting ahead of myself and you know reset start over you know go back to my previous point and give it another shot but what tends to happen a lot which actually just happened right before i started recording again is i'll get frustrated and then i'll end up just kind of sitting here staring into space not saying or doing anything and then i'll just kind of not rage quit but frustration quit i guess like i'll just be like i'll just go watch a movie or work on something else or do something else. And there are so many videos that I have attempted to record. And there are so many videos that I've attempted to edit that I have just psyched myself out during recording or editing. And you guys will never see them because I've deleted them. I really don't like that I do that. I'm trying not to use the word hate. So I'm just going to say I really don't like that I do that and I wish I could stop. And it's not like I'm not comfortable making YouTube videos. It's not like I'm, you know, not comfortable putting myself out there or anything like that. It's really not, it really doesn't have anything to do with that. I think my brain just will work too fast and I'll like, I'll like try to say a million things at one time and I just get overwhelmed and I feel like it sounds like shit while I'm recording it. And then I just kind of quit on it. And I really want to stop doing that. I don't even know why I'm recording this right now, but I guess it's just in an attempt to like, maybe if I talk about it, I'll feel better. Like maybe if I just kind of talk about it, it'll make me, you know, a little bit more okay like see this is what i mean <laughs> it's it's happening live right in front of you it's happening right now i don't know i i guess also i hope that if any of you deal with this i hope you know this is just kind of a sign to you that you're not the only one you know like this shit is hard man like it's hard sometimes i'll spend so much time obsessing over the lighting that by the time it's time to record after i get the lighting how i want 
And after I get my notes the way I want, I'll sit down and then I won't even feel like recording the video anymore. And that's another big reason why it feels like there are big breaks in between the content is because I don't want to burn myself out. You know, I feel very impassioned and reinvigorated when it comes to my YouTube channel, because those of you who have been around since when it was something drastically different than what it is now, it used to be a music reaction channel. You know, those of you who have been around since then, you know, I was doing the music reaction thing. I was doing reviews and stuff. And at first I was very excited, very passionate about it. And then I just did it too much. I think I just posted too much at one time. I tried to do too much at one time. I just burnt myself out on it and ended up just kind of quitting on it. So last year when I basically revamped the channel and came back with this new content, uh, you know, I still have that energy. I still have that drive in me to make these videos. It's just, I don't want to burn myself out again. You know, I don't want to you know, make myself feel like I have to do this. You know what I mean? I, I want to make videos about stuff that I want to make videos about. And I don't know, sometimes it feels like I'll get in front of the camera about something that I think I want to talk about. And then when I start talking about it, I'll just be like, uh, I guess I don't actually want to talk about this. I don't know, it's very odd because the Megamind video was very easy to film. I wrote a whole script for that and, you know, recorded the video, edited the video nice and quick, got it out there nice and quick. You guys seem to love it, which is, I'm ecstatic about it. I, I love that you guys love the video, but I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like I'm talking about stuff I don't really want to talk about and Maybe it, maybe it is because, you know, at the root of it, I guess the reason I'm talking, I wanted to talk about these Super Bowl trailers is just because it's the Super Bowl. And, you know, I, I feel like more people are going to click on something about the Super Bowl when it just happened. But I guess I just don't care because honestly, other than the Planet of the Apes trailer, which I actually wouldn't mind talking about in a little bit more depth. I was underwhelmed by the Deadpool trailer. Honestly, I was underwhelmed by the Twister trailer, the Dis the Despicable Me trailer. Uh, but I don't like the Despicable Me movies, so that that's just you know that's not surprising. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't I don't know what this video is supposed to be for. I I just kind of I I was recording and I got frustrated and I guess I just decided to share with you guys that you know I get frustrated making videos sometimes and. It's tough because I want to do this. Like, this isn't like, you know, I'm not trying to make this a career or anything like that. Like, I don't get paid for this. Like, I, I just do this because I don't really have that many friends in real life that like the same things that I like, that I can talk to about this stuff as much as I want to talk about it. So that's kind of what this is for. I kind of, you know come to you guys to talk about this stuff that I care about and that I like, you know, it's a hobby. It's, it's just a hobby. I guess my brain or my heart, one of them is like fighting me whenever I'm like, whenever I'm, I guess, forcing it, you know, I guess my heart and my soul is like fighting that and being like, Hey, like, you don't want to talk about this. We're not about to force ourselves to talk about it. We're not about to force ourselves to come up with thoughts and opinions on things that we don't have that many thoughts and opinions on. I guess that makes sense. So, and you know what? This isn't new. Like I've, I've always dealt with anxiety. I've been dealing with anxiety since I was in high school and you know, it's, it's come in different forms and, you know, I'm not going to get all deep and give y'all my whole life story. Y'all don't, y'all don't need to know all of that. Some things need to be private. You know, I, I I'm not mad at people that share their whole lives online. I just feel like I don't need to do that. Y'all don't need to know that much about me. But um, it's tough sometimes. It's it's tough, you know. I, I I'll I'll be like, oh man, I can't wait to record this video. I I'll be taking notes. I'll be like, all right, I can't wait to talk about this, talk about that, and then I'll sit down and I'll start talking, and then blank nothing. <laughs> and then I'll get nervous and then I'll start to get hot. I'll, I'll let you guys know this. I have asthma. So, you know, I, I, at least I think I still have asthma. I mean, it kind of feels like it sometimes, but yeah, sometimes like, you know, I'll get a little bit of a wheeze while I'm inhaling and 
that's no fun. You know, and I, and I feel like when I'm editing too, when I can hear that, it sounds like shit to me. It, it just sounds terrible to me. And that's another thing that'll make me just kind of quit on editing a video. And then, you know, I have a whole, I'll tell y'all this. I have a whole video on here on this computer that is my top 20 movies of 2023. I recorded a whole video and because I can hear myself, you know, kind of wheezing every now and again while I'm breathing, it frustrated me while I was editing it and I never finished editing it. I recorded this video like over a month ago. Like it was shortly after the Black Friday Cyber Monday haul video, you know? So yeah, anyway, I don't want I don't want this video to get too long and, you know, become some kind of like sob story or anything like that. It's not supposed to be that. It's, this is just, I guess, some I guess this is just some kind of form of therapy for me a little bit. Maybe this will help. You know, just being able to vocalize what I'm talking about. And hopefully if you deal with the same thing, hopefully this will just, I don't know how it'll help because it's not like I'm giving you advice. I can't really give you advice on something that I don't even know how to deal with myself. But um, just to let you know that I deal with it too, you know, and I'm sure there's other creators on here that deal with it as well. You know, it's just comes with the territory. You know, you don't want to, when you have a hobby, when you have something that you enjoy doing, you don't ever want to cross that line into it feeling like work. And, you know, you want it to be fun. You want it to be enjoyable because when it's clear that you're enjoying it, then it's easily enjoyable for others. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's about it, man. I was, I was recording, you know, I, and <laughs> ran into a roadblock as it happens sometimes, but you know what, I guess, okay, here's a little bit of advice, I guess. What keeps me motivated is when I look at my, you know, my YouTube studio and I look at the videos I've done that I've put out and, you know, I look at the work that I've been able to do and, you know, I do watch my own videos often, not really to, you know, as an ego stroke or anything like that, but just to, you know, remind myself that it's not impossible what I'm trying to do. It's not impossible. Like I'm capable of doing it because I've done it. You know, it's just kind of to reboost that confidence, you know, kind of be like, look, man, like you can do this. It's, you know, you can do it. So I guess I would recommend that to you. If you already have videos uploaded, you know, don't, there's no shame in just kind of going back, watching them, not to criticize yourself, just to, you know, quite the opposite, to give yourself that boost of, you know what, it's easier than you make it on yourself. Yeah, I guess that's about all I have to say. Um, more videos are coming, videos that, you know, I care about and topics that I actually want to talk about. So if it feels like, you know, days and weeks go by without me uploading and, you know, if you guys think I just be like, I don't know, going on vacay or shit like that, it, it, it's nothing like that. You know, I, I promise I am trying to record and put out something. It's just, you know, things get difficult, but, uh, yeah. Stay tuned for actual content content. I guess that's about it. So yeah, see you guys in the next video, I guess. Thanks you, thank you for checking this out. Uh, if you're dealing with what I be dealing with, I hope I was able to help a little bit. And yeah, have a good day.